What's going on, Bill Meyer? What's going on? Not coming out. What is it? Roll up. You feeling like shiz? Mm -hmm. What is it from, do you think? Why what was the matter with that meat last night? <laughs> Poor Bill Meyer, he's sick. I feel bad for him, but in the same turn it's kinda of funny. Tebow. Hello, fellow citizens of the United States of America. It has been 12 hours since infection has started. And we are laying in bed, dead. Isn't that right, Bill Meyer? I don't know if you could hear the crickets whispering. Let's try that one more time. Isn't that right, Bill Meyer? Yep. I don't know if you guys have ever watched National Geographic when a elephant pees but we have basically that coming out of our corn holes we are in dire need of water dehydration setting in let me explain something very briefly about the conversation I had with myself first will be me second will be my conscience say do you think we should tell them that this cow is rare and it's still mooing no we won't get sick we never get sick from food poisoning are you sure oh. yep tastes great to me you see that is what happens when people cook Freaking beef rare. This thing was basically still mooing. Better watch yourself, cows. I mean, Bill Meyer's conversation after dinner last night. Say, Bill Meyer, was that steak a little bit well done to you? No. Well, I think it was a little rare. Yes. Did you hear it moo when we ate it? Yes. Gee, I'm feeling a little sick. We better call president and let him know. Eat more chicken. You know, as I sit here and ponder my life, I'm often led to think of, do showers really work when you're sick? Warm showers, especially. You know, the more I ponder, the more I realize they don't help a bit. If anything, they make you a lot weaker and worser. When you're a missionary and you're sick, what do you do? Well, gee, I'd like to read the Book of Mormon. I'm too weak to support the book. And I've read it just barely, so it's kind of boring. Not boring, it's just old. And you sit here and you ponder and you ponder, what are you gonna do? And then you realize that your grandma has given you money for your birthday. And you ponder and you ponder. And you make some pretty stupid decisions. Such as, I mean, buying a Lego mammoth, mammoth is a, a great. Probably something you shouldn't do on your mission because now you have to figure out a way to send it home when you start getting more stuff. Good luck, folks. Mission log 01302015. 14 hours into the disease, still haven't found a cure. As I sit here and review these logs that I'm making, I have come to realize that my top lip doesn't match my bottom two teeth. If you will ponder with me for a second, I want you to notice how this thing lines up just a little bit on this tooth. Let us look. 
See that? That is genuine lazy lips and it's not straight. Now, as much as I'd like to say I'm perfect, definitely not. Pondering life once again, I've thought about my favorite sick story as I've been sitting here thinking in my brain, which yes, is bad to do for me, but I have thought of some great memories of when I was sick. Both of my favorite times of when I've been sick has been when my two younger brothers have been sick with me. One time me, Riley and Connor were watching Romance in a Stone. I remember a spider comes running down right in front of either Riley or Connor, I can't remember. In reaction to this freaky little dude crawling down right in front of us, we punched him and then he disappeared. We never knew where he went. I will continue part two of this next segment. Part two, next segment of favorite memory of when I've been sick. Actually, I have three, so get ready for a third part. My second time, favorite time being sick, is when me, Riley, and Connor were all feeling sick in the morning. My mom let us all stay home from school. Her mistake. Boy, did we have fun. We played Mario Galaxy all day long. It was good stuff. And that was my second memory of being sick. I just remember the joyous laughs me and my brother shared as we had snaggled our mom into thinking we were sick. And my third memory of being sick is when I was in fourth grade. Me and my mom had both just gotten strep throat. I believe my mom got strep throat because she was taking care of me. She's amazing and I love her. I remember us staying up all day long watching Lord of the Rings Extended Editions that we had borrowed from the Mathesons. What a wonderful family, by the way. I remember my mom sleeping the whole time and I sat there and watched and watched and watched. It was a good day, because I was with my mommy the whole time. <laughs> well, now that we have taken a blast to the past, and have seen and felt and heard of these touching stories, it's time for now, folks, that I say goodbye. As my tumbling is a grumbling, and the dam is about to break. In this final hour, would I give away to the mud bog in the toilet. I think I will. Toodles. All right, just a little bit of a backstory here. Uh, Elder Goode gave me prune juice a few days prior to this. It made me have some serious reaction on the toilet. So, in revenge, this wonderful member and I gave Elder Good laxatives as if he was going to have a colonoscopy. So, this is the result of that. Trust me, you don't drink that. It's just gonna make you cute. Dude, <laughs> dude, trust me, do not drink that. Tell me why. Just trust me, that's tell all. Tell me why. Just, just trust me. Just tell me why. I'm gonna do it, so you have to tell me why. <laughs> Just trust me, you don't drink that, it's not worth it. Just endear it. That's all I'm asking is just endear it. Why? I will feel better. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, wait that's you not will, enough. You will feel better in six hours. Trust me. I felt I, I felt I day. felt better in six hours. Within six hours. Six hours is a long time. Maybe I can puke and go do Dude! Something. Just go lay down and you will feel a lot better. <laughs> Somebody drink it. So disgusting. Hey, I'll crack you open a Mountain Dew. The carbonation will make you feel a lot better, though. <laughs> He's going to get it. I just want to feel Don't touch the back of the toilet with your foot. It's got hair back there. Not even closer. Don't pop it right here. <laughs> It'll go everywhere. <laughs> Stop. I need I need a puke. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs>
I feel like it then. Why is my stomach hurting so bad? <laughs> <laughs> Just drink, good, just drink the Mountain Dew, it'll make you feel better. No, don't spit on me. <laughs> Stop, does that make you? Why are you guys doing this to me? Alright, let's see. Don't. So disgusting. I hate doing this, my dad always makes me. What? I can just do it. Just give this to me. Well, I don't understand give why. I'm helping you learn a humbling lesson. <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> Drink that, the carbonation will help you feel better. Go lay down six hours, you will feel a whole lot better. How do you feel? Did you just drink it? My stomach is just killing me and I got a headache. Oh, do you want me to get you some Tylenol? Will my all work? Yeah, sure. Hmm, <laughs> Tylenol. It's not going to be one time, we're going to be in sick? there for hours. Is that what's making me sick? No, it's probably the fish. I told you, I sent you a text message, so it's not on my head. You had your agencies. <laughs> <laughs> I warned you. That's why you're laughing. You could have stool soft I felt bad. I even said at the end, I don't want to take away from the Lord's work. Well... Get a day off. <laughs> <laughs> like they're like poop. <laughs> so it's just gonna be poop all day. That's why. <laughs> oh, it all makes sense, big jerks. <laughs> <laughs> 